In this video, I'll be going over a complete overview of Shopify's Dawn theme, showing you how to customize it. We'll go over setting up several pages, such as the home page, the product page, as well as your navigation menu. So to start, you should have Shopify Dawn installed. If you don't, we're going to go over to online store on the left hand side of your Shopify menu. And you just want to scroll down to popular free themes and Shopify Dawn should be listed here. And all you have to do is hit add and it's going to add the latest version of the Dawn theme to your Shopify store. Shopify's Dawn theme is also completely free and comes with many great features. So it's a great starting theme for any Shopify store. So here's my clean install here. I installed it 29 minutes ago and it's version 10.0.0. So to customize a theme, you want to go into the customize section. And from here, let's start setting things up. So first, let me give you an overview of Shopify's online 2.0 theme customization and to start let's go to the left hand side so you can have your overall sections your theme settings and your app embeds so your app embeds are going to involve any external Shopify apps you install on the Shopify app store, you can turn these off and on so they can actually be enabled in your store. As you can see, this test store has quite a few here, but currently they're all disabled. We move up one, we have our overall theme settings. Mostly these are style settings and we can customize overall things such as our logo, our colors, our layout, our buttons. So you can see different things such as the thickness, opacity, corner radius, Needs you can customize it for every single button in our theme. So you can think of a lot of these customizations as like overall customizations rather than a page by page. We do get some overall customization options as well, covering social media. So you can link all your accounts, brand information, different badges, as well as different drawers. So the customization of a card drawer, if you have that set up. And we can see checkout customizations such as the banner, the logo, and the position of those. And if we move up to our top on our left-hand side, this is our sections. So it's gonna show for whatever type of page you're on. So right now we're on the home page, so we can see customization around the announcement bar, the headers, and we can see the image banner that's currently here and the featured collection. Now, if we want to change the template page, we can go to the top here in the center. You should have a drop down. You can see the home page, our product pages. We can see our default product, collections, collection list, pages, blogs, blog posts, cart, and checkout. So if we click on any of these, it's going to bring us to that template for the page. And we can make customizations by adding different sections to each of those. So let's start off on the home page and I'll go over how you can add different sections in. So if we go back to our home page by selecting it in the top hand menu here we can see that we have our overall header section so the announcement bar and the header so these are actually going to appear on every page and then we have our template here for which is what we're on and that's the home page now at the bottom we have our footer so similar to the header these are going to show up on every page so let's first go over how to add a section and what you want to do is click the plus icon for add section and then you're going to get quite a few options we can see things such as featured collections collection lists and for each of these if you hover over them you can see a preview of what it looks like so let's say i want to add a collection list here so i can just click on it and it's going to add it at the bottom here you can continue to add as many sections as you'd like to a page to quickly note if you want to move any of these sections around if you hover over these six dots here, we can, let's say, drag this to the top or drag it below our image banner. Now let's go over how you can edit each section. And so this one is going to involve just clicking on the elements and you can click and select the individual elements within. So if I want to edit this header text, I could also just double click on it. And this then will show up in the right hand side. So we think of these as different layers. This is your overall layer, your in-between layer and your bottom layer. We can make those really specific edits. So I want to change the text for my heading. I could say welcome to my Shopify store. I can do things such as bold it, italicize it, and I can also set the heading size and it's going to be a large heading. And so I'm just going to leave it like that. Let's say I want to change the image. I can click on the overall section and then go again to the right hand side. I can hit explore free images here. I'm just going to click on the first one and I'll hit select. You get customization such as the opacity of the image. Basically, there's going to be a dark layer on top of it. I can set it to 100% and the image isn't going to show up. Or I can go down to 30. You get further customization here, such as the banner height, different animations, as well as the mobile layout. So let's say for my individual image banner section, I can add a further block. And under this, I can just add a text block. And there is a maximum of three. I can also rearrange them by again, dragging it around using these six dots. Go quickly customize this collection list. And I'll click on the collection, go to the right-hand side, hit select collection. I'll go to all. For the next one, I'll select 
bundles and for the third one i'll select the home page and just to note i actually wasn't selecting them you do need to hit select at the bottom right and then these collections will show up since there are no products in the bundles you're not going to see anything here as well you also don't have to only use the left hand side to add new elements if you hover under an element such as collections i can see this plus icon and if i go and click it i can add an additional block here and that's going to be another collection as it's under the collection list to remove this block let's say i want to remove the collection one here. I can click on it, go to the right hand side, and at the bottom there should be a remove block button. Those are the basics to add and remove and move around different blocks to your homepage. You can have quite a few different sections here. And now, to not make this video too long, I won't do a complete walkthrough of creating this. I can create another video if you would like, but this should give you a really solid understanding of editing and adding blocks on your homepage. Let's go through some basic overall settings that you'll probably want to set up. So the first thing I'll do is I'll set up a logo. So I'll go to the theme settings on the left hand side. I'll expand this logo section. I'm gonna select an image. I'm gonna open up my media gallery here and I wanna add my own logo. So I'll go into my desktop here and I'll go add the Ecom Masterclass logo. And I can see it's now uploading and it's currently processing. Once it's done, I can select it and I'll hit done at the bottom right and now i can see my logo is in my shopify store now i probably want to do some editing to remove the background but i'll leave this as is for now the next will be your favicon image and so if you're using a desktop you'll see a little icon in the top of the tab this is your favicon so you'll probably want to set this up it makes it easier for people to come back to your page if they've changed tabs i'm going to have the same logo here it's going to be automatically scaled down so next let's go over to my color scheme i'm going to open up the colors tab and i'll hit scheme one here and from here i can if you've made any sales on shopify you know how hard it is to keep track of your profit that's where our sponsor profit calc comes in it's the one click profit calculator available for your shopify store all you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real-time calculations so you can discover how much money your store is actually making this is going to let you make smarter business decisions it's going to sync seamlessly with all your different ad accounts as well as many cost of goods sold options it's going to give you a ton of detailed analytics and metrics so you can better understand store you can find it in the shopify app store by searching profit calc and looking for this logo in the top left there's also a link in the description below where you can access the app listing directly from there you can get access to a 15 day free trial so you can test drive everything for yourself but to edit the actual colors you're just going to click on them and then you can change the hex code or just go around and drag the color you're looking for and so different elements will use the color scheme and they're applied to sections overall you can see which ones are using which Let's say I click on the image banner here. I can go to the right hand side and I can see the color scheme used is three. So if I go and edit it specifically, I can maybe change the text to a black text here. And that's gonna show up here. To note any part of your theme that's using scheme three is also gonna be affected. So I'm gonna change this back to white here as it's used on our homepage. And I want the text to be white rather than black. So it's easily readable. In terms of the other overall settings, such as typography, animations, layout, I'm just gonna leave these as the default here. And to note, if you're starting your Shopify store, it can be really easy to go into very detailed specific customizations and you can do so without spending time on the bigger things which can take away from your focus it's just a note for when i was building my own stores i definitely spent way too much time just rearranging different elements even though they didn't really make a difference to my overall conversion rate so next let's set up our header section this is going to be our navigation menu so i'm just going to click on it here and I can see it in the left. So first, I'm just gonna customize the text of the announcement bar. I'm gonna go down to welcome to our store. I'm just gonna say something like free worldwide shipping. Next, I'll go to our header section. And if I click on it, I can see different customizations such as the logo position, the menu, the drop down type, the sticky header. So you can see on scroll up, it's gonna show, but if you're scrolling down, it's gonna disappear. We can see the color scheme used, the country and region selector. I'm gonna leave this as off. Spacing, padding, as well as some overall theme settings. And you can also link your social media icons here. You can also select the menu used. So right now I have the main menu. If I wanted to change it, I can go to change menu and maybe select something else. Well, looking at these menus, the way you can find these is if I go back to my Shopify admin, I just open this up in a new tab. I can go to online store, then down to navigation. And from here, I can see my two menus main menu and footer menu. I can add a new menu by hitting add menu here. I can name it and you can add different items. So you can add different pages. Let's say I wanna add about us to my header. I can then search for it, go to pages and I have my about us here. I can 
add this element and you can just save it quickly. It's quickly to note because you're not making the changes to the actual items in the theme customization, but you're doing it under navigation. Leave this as drop down here because I think that looks nice. It's just going to drop down, making it easy to select the item you're looking for. I can also preview the navigation by clicking on the desk type icon here. I can select mobile or full screen. So you can preview how it's going to look on different devices. So I selected mobile and if I click on the menu, I can see how it's going to show up and I like how it's going to slide out there in a drawer format. I can also change the logo to maybe top left, although this is going to matter more for the desktop, but I'll just leave it as middle left for now because I like it showing up in line with the navigation elements. So let's go over to my footer. So your footer, you can add different blocks. So you could add maybe a email subscribing part. You could add different links. I'm going to add a footer menu to start. So under footer, I'm going to go to add block. I'm going to hit Menu is one of the most popular ones, so it's going to show up here. From here, I'm going to click on the menu, and it's going to default select the footer menu, so I'm okay with that. I'm also going to go in and turn off this show email signup, so I can just leave my menu. I'm just going to remove this text overall. I'm just going to have my links show up at the bottom. I can also add another block. Maybe I'll add some brand information. As I can see, I'm adding these in, and they're going to automatically create me two columns. If I click on brand information, I can go to the actual edit brand information. So I'm going to open this up in a new tab, but this will basically just load the theme settings. If you scroll down to the bottom of brand information. So it's essentially going to be a block that can be reused Let's say the ultimate camping store. Let's say shop now for great deals. I'll hit save. If I hit save here and then I'm going to reload the page and it looks like opening up and then two new tabs there did override this. So I'm going to quickly add things in adding my menu and my brand information. And I can now see the quick links and the ultimate camping store. And I'll just hit save here. So that's not going to happen again. So that's our homepage in the overall theme customization. Let's go over quickly to the product page so we can see how the customization process works. And essentially it's going to be very similar. You have your left hand side. I can see my overall footer and header sections. Those are the same, but under template, I can maybe drag around the different elements. I can click on product information overall. I can go to different customizations such as sticky content, the media file size, the padding settings, the theme settings. I want to rearrange some of these elements. I can just simply drag them around depending on how I want it to look. I can also remove this. Let's say I want to remove this extra little bit of text that's saying the name of the store. I can go down to the bottom here and hit remove block. I can also add different blocks such as SKUs, icons, product ratings. If you're going to have any apps that integrate reviews, you'll probably have it here. So you might search for review. I can see I have a lot of judge me widgets as I do have that app installed on my store. Let's say I wanted to add the preview badges in the stars. So if those do exist. They will show up here. This product doesn't have any reviews, so we're not seeing it on the right hand side. I can see more sections. So maybe I want more than related products. I can do featured collections, rich tech, email signups, video. There's basically a lot of customization options and it's going to operate very similarly to the homepage as as the theme customization process is the exact same. So hit save here. And then if you want to preview this at any point, you can hit the three dots and then go to preview here. This is going to show what your theme looks like to customers and to get it live on your store. You want to hit publish here and it's going to replace the current theme I have installed, which is another version of this Dawn theme. But if you just hit publish, it's now going to be live to all your new visitors of your Shopify store. So hopefully this video gave you an overview of the Dawn theme customization. I try not to make it too long by going through things overall rather than a step by step. I can do so in another video if you like just let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, I would love it so much if you hit that like and subscribe button below as that really helps the channel out. I want to mention Profit Calc one more time, the one click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. There's a link in the description below. You can also find it in the Shopify app store by searching Profit Calc and looking for this logo in the top left.